Hey right, guys, so let's now take a look at some of the limitations of ratio analysis. Okay, so first up, ratios are a rear view mirror in essence, okay? They're very good at looking backwards at where you've been and what the business has been through, but they don't tell you anything per se about the future. So they do not actually tell you where the business is likely to be going, all right? So that's important, but it could help, of course, to show you possible trends uh, that the business may be following. And given that, uh, you may then be able to take some sort of uh, action or pivot to actually change uh, the way in which you're operating, perhaps by looking at new suppliers or looking at changing your prices around and so on. Number two, it, they can highlight problems, but they don't offer solutions, okay? So really, you need to dig deeper, and it's very likely that actually you need to go beyond just the accounts to really understand what is actually driving a particular trend within the ratio analysis and what has actually resulted in that area of lower performance or that area of higher performance. And sometimes it can just be as a consequence of uh, variables changing outside of the business. So for instance, if petrol prices suddenly came down, then any business that is uh, uh, responsible for distributing its products via its own vehicles is going to have lower fuel bills. So external factors can play a role and we'll come on to that in just a second. So ratios are also averages, so they give you a good average performance indicator. So of course though, when it comes to, for instance, profitability and the actual uh, uh, profit margin which is actually obtained on different products, that will vary greatly. And of course, the ratio analysis just uh, averages that out. Now, uh, for certain businesses, they can make very, very high profits on their high ticket items, uh, such as Apple, for instance, where the majority of their sales come from iPhone sales, of course, and that is, of course, where the majority of their profits come from. But with the iPhone, it does then uh, suggest that the iWatch is also uh, highly profitable, but it's not necessarily the case because it's just an average across uh, the industry, okay, or the Apple Watch, isn't it? Right, number four, uh, accounts can be window dressed, uh, and this may distort the ratios and mislead stakeholders. Uh, okay, so window dressing, it's a little bit of a technical concept, this, uh, but simply, if, if you imagine just depreciating a given asset at a slower rate so that perhaps you decide to keep a piece of machinery for five years instead of four years, um, then you depreciate it at a slower rate perhaps. That can help boost your profitability in that given period, okay? So that sort of thing can take place. What's more, you may draw forward income that you're expecting in a future period uh, and declare it right now because you want the profits to look better than they are to uh, stakeholders or perhaps shareholders. Stakeholders meaning anyone that has an interest in the business, of course. Uh, number five, they don't consider external factors. So we mentioned the fuel price earlier, okay, but it could be uh, the uh, price of fruit and veg perhaps changes and varies. Well, that would have uh, an impact upon a restaurant-based business or a food-based business, okay? Um, and ratio analysis doesn't then tell you why your profit's gone up, why your profit's gone down, and so on. Uh, and of course, finally, number six here, information can change. We've seen with the statement of financial position that that tells us at a given point in time what perhaps the current ratio is, uh, or perhaps the uh, liquid capital ratio is, or asset test ratio, but perhaps, actually, you were expecting uh, to have far less stock the next day, perhaps some sort of scenario like that. So what we're saying really is that that information can change and it can change very, very quickly, okay? And as such, ratio analysis isn't always that valuable. Okay, guys, thanks ever so much. See you next time.